guilt of wrong actions Psalm 32 verse 5 Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. This psalm flows out of the great anguish of David's heart as he groaned under the load of his guilt. It teaches us that to know the blessings of forgiveness, we need to feel the burden of guilt. David knew that he had sinned and he felt deeply the guilt of his wrong actions. His guilt was making him feel physically ill. A good case of guilt is a healthy thing when we have sinned. It is very difficult to bring sinful man humbly to accept free mercy with a full confession of his sins and self-condemnation. But the true and only way to peace of conscience is to confess our sins, that they may be forgiven, to declare them that we may be justified. Although repentance and confessions do not merit the pardon of transgressions, they are needful to the real enjoyment of forgiving mercy. God teaches by His word and guides with the secret intimations of His will. David gives a word of caution to sinners. The reason for this caution is that the way of sin will certainly end in sorrow. Today, let's look at questions to ask yourself when you struggle with self-condemnation. Why should I continue to condemn myself when God no longer condemns me? Is my self-condemnation affecting my relationship with God? What about my relationships with other people? What good comes from refusing to forgive myself? Does the Lord find me more devout because of my guilt and shame? Is there any biblical basis for withholding self-forgiveness? How long do I intend to condemn myself? What must happen for me to finally forgive myself? When facing self-doubt and remorse, Focus on the basics of who God is and what He wants for your life. Prayfully consider these six questions. Read or listen again and spend time reflecting on each one. You may even want to journal or work through your thoughts in prayer as the Lord speaks. Don't be alarmed if you find yourself wrestling with some of the answers. Remember, God wants to help renew our perspective and He promises to be with us as we confront our guilt.